This episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by Raycon. Head on over to buyraycon.com slash rogue. Spell it right, R-O-G-U-E, and get 15% off your first purchase. Also, keep us in business. That's... All right, what do we do? What do we do? Flip-flops are okay. Uh, are you okay with burning your toes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Here yeah, we go. Yes. All right, what are we making? What are All we right, doing? we are going to start on with a latte. What am I doing? We're starting with a latte. Yes, okay, I latte. need you guys a to latte. pull some uh, shots. Wait, she's doing something. Yes. Yep. We're, we're right here. I have the espresso ready for you. Who wants to pull the lever? Wait, I, I pull the lever. Just pull the lever. Pull go. all Just the way grab, down. Grabbing a, yep. grabbing a thing, boss. That's hot. Pull the lever. Yep. I burned, all the way down. I, I burned this. It's fine. Oh, yeah, yep. You're not my real That's dad. Right. There's muscles. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I'm burned. I'm burned. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Maybe maybe we don't we have just, to make the just drink. The, the we could just learn how to drink. Yeah, I just want to drink it. So it's like a sippy cup. Well, if nothing else, we learned why we don't make coffee. This is why we consume coffee. We just want to consume coffee better. How about that? I think that's great. With us, we have Chelsea from EDG Coffee here in Austin, Texas. Thank you for having me. I very much appreciate yeah, being quick, here. Yeah, what is EDG? ABCD? EDG Coffee stands for Esperanza de Gloria. It is the name of our farm in Nicaragua. Oh, right on. Now, yeah. you're going to teach us about just the basics of coffee, of which I know nothing. I go to the drive-thru, and they start spitting Italian words at me. I'm like, just Give me a yeah. large So one. far, I've yeah. learned one lesson, and that's don't just grab every handle. <laughs> I've learned it very well. Good oh. call. Good call. <laughs> so what do we have here? Yes. So we are going to start with our espresso, which is going to be the base of most of the drinks that you're going to be ordering at a coffee shop. So we're going to try straight espresso, and we'll see what you think, because most people find it a little bit strong. Are there not like different strains, like different genetically independent uh, uh, beans? Almost any coffee bean can be made as espresso. Espresso is a specific extraction method. The espresso machine that you blew up earlier, oh, Jesus. that is going to be the type that. of um, extraction method that we use to get this espresso. It's but, a way you extract me out of the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it, now, is this the strongest of? This is going to be one of the strongest coffees that you I, can I, have. I just realized I went into to whiskey mode and I started getting yeah. a nose and all that stuff. Yeah, you, That's all legit in coffee that land, is right? Absolutely legit. Okay. That helps you get all the flavor profiles. It is um, going to be strong. The goal for it is to be a really well-rounded, full-bodied flavor. So you don't want it to be too bitter and you don't want it to be too sour. A lot of people confuse it being strong with it being bitter. And those are definitely two very different things. Okay, and then I suppose there's different verticals. You have the amount of caffeine, you have the intensity of the flavor, some of which I assume has to do with the roasting, some of which has to do with the beans, some of which has to do with the presentation and, and, yeah. and how many dilutants you put in there. A lot of it is going to have to do with your extraction method, how strong your coffee is. What should we know about how espresso is extracted? It is extracted using a lot of uh, pressure, as you experienced earlier. I can vouch um, for that. The water is going to be right, or, right below boiling for that. So the beauty of the espresso is that the water is pressed through very fine grounds. And that is how we get the strength of the espresso. I like this drink, I'll have another. <laughs> <laughs> but this would be the most intense of the four flavors we're about Absolutely, to experience. Absolutely, Okay, yes. all right, all right, hit me again. The next one is going to be an Americano. It is the same amount of espresso that I pulled earlier. It's gonna be a double shot, but I added hot water to it. The origin story is that Americans during World War II were over in Italy. They wanted something like drip coffee to, for that home feel, but the Italians don't actually make drip coffee. So they made espresso and watered it down a little bit. That's right. That sounds like every baseball park, uh, you know, Miller Lite, say some kind of pilster, <laughs> like water it down for the Americans. That's right. All right. Now, so this is two shots of espresso and this some is water? Two shots of espresso with some water. Yes, okay. sir. And you are supposed to sip, right? Yes, you're okay. supposed to sip. If nothing else, to protect your tongue from being burned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what are you getting in there? Well, what should I be looking for as I, as I nose and, and sip from this? So you are going to want to find probably some chocolatey notes is typically what you'll find in our espresso. Your favorite. That's right. I don't it's... like chocolate. You don't like chocolate though. That's true. Oh, as a matter of fact, when we did the Miracle Fruit, that was your complaint about Guinness. It's chocolatey. Yes, yes. 
I hate chocolate. It completely depends on the type of espresso that's used and the type of bean that's used. So every place you go, the Americano is gonna pull out the notes that that espresso has. This is one of the things that we learned in the whiskey episodes is counterintuitively adding water or diluting something sometimes brings out more flavors because the, the first shot of espresso was very intense, very overwhelming, but this all of a sudden, I, I feel like I'm able to, to sit with a little bit, right? Yeah. And also point of interest, not correcting you guys, it's espresso, not espresso. Uh, wait, did I say espresso? No, no, no. Oh. I'm okay. saying we all got it right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. But but somebody out there in the comments supposedly probably, supposedly <laughs> people oh, say espresso. Oh, that, right. that is definitely a barista pet peeve. When you say espresso, <laughs> it's a no-go. Yeah. You're like, oh, would you like me to do a double time? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> get out. Is there a right temperature to enjoy? an americano or any of these at? most drinks they say are typically you can taste them the most when they're closest to your body temperature you can get the most flavors from that drink between i assume i don't know like, the aromatics and all that absolutely. stuff absolutely cool. yeah mm -hmm. okay. if it's too hot your body can't compute all of the different flavors have you ever heard this theory that when it's hot outside have hot beverages because it makes you sweat just a little bit and you feel cooler. I was just thinking that. It's like when you jump into freezing water in the middle of winter and the water is actually warmer than the air outside. This is making me feel like it's not sweltering out here. I guess that's all that matters. Science, I guess. <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> I love it. I'll have another, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Next, we have a latte. So it's going to be the same base of a double shot of espresso, also called a doppio. It's Italian for double. Oh, okay. So we ha start with the doppio and then we add steamed milk. This latte is going to be made with whole milk. Typically that has a note of sweetness to it because as you steam the milk, it brings out the proteins and the fats. And as those heat up, just a little bit of sweetness without adding any syrups. Oh, okay. So at this point, we're yes milk, but no sugars. That is correct. I, mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess, I mean, the nose seems almost identical, but but I'm gonna guess that that the texture is where we're gonna oh. feel most of the Absolutely. difference. Oh, I'm picking up lots of milk. Yeah, you are you? Yeah, I can't smell milk. Yeah, it's it's it's. Ever since the Great Cow Wars of '78. Oh, he doesn't like to talk about that. Oh, we didn't have to bring it up. I'm sorry. Oh wow. Yeah. Just a little bit of steamed milk. That's dramatically different. Absolutely. I feel like we're learning to ski in reverse. We started with the double black diamond and now we're down to like <laughs> yeah. the, the, the easy bunny slopes. <laughs> right. So we haven't even added any sugar yet. This is just from adding milk. It kind of brings a smoothness to the espresso. So what are the proportions? You've got the, the dopio, right? So two Absolutely. shots of espresso. Mm -hmm. How much milk? Like what is what are the ratio there? That's a great question. We do our lattes a little bit different. Our coffee to milk ratio is going to be the same across all of our sizes. So this is our eight ounce. A doppio is two shots of espresso, which is two ounces. And then I add six ounces of steamed milk. As we go on from there, my 12 ounce has three shots of espresso. My 16 ounce has four. And then of course my 20 ounce has five shots and of espresso. And this is whole milk we're talking this about. This is whole milk. I would often get, uh, when I was uh, working in the corporate world, a red eye, which was just like they called four shots of espresso. I would do that hoping that it would give me superpowers or allow me to travel through time or something. Yeah, it's gonna do something. <laughs> it did. And red ice can also mean extra shots of espresso in drip coffee. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's that it's actually getting cooler by temperature or if it's just so much easier with a little bit of that milk fat. This thing, I feel like I could almost chug yeah. like an energy drink. Oh, you could guzzle oh, this. Absolutely. Yeah, it's really yeah. smooth. Yes. What do we got next? Next, if you talk about guzzling something, this one is going to be great. This is our mocha. So we have the latte with a little bit of chocolate in it. So double shot of espresso, steamed milk, and then we use a dark Peruvian chocolate. We make our own sauce. So it's going to be really nice. Pulls out even different flavors of that espresso, adding the dark chocolate this to it. This is the smiling face of somebody who knows. We finally got to a sweet drink. That this guy <laughs> hates chocolate with a burning passion of a thousand suns. I'm doing it. No, you're not. Salute. This a what? Yeah. Okay, all right. Here we go. Oh, this is just candy. Come on. Another actually, piece. Is it, is it That's actually palatable? not bad. It, oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That, okay, see, I have hated chocolate my entire life. No kidding. My entire life. But I could drink this. This is All actually right. pretty good. All right. That's fabulous. <laughs> it's, it's not like super chocolatey. It's just right. notes of it. 
Right, and our chocolate sauce isn't as sweet as you're gonna find in some places. So it does allow the coffee to still come through because we, we love our coffee. We're not trying to hide our coffee. Okay, so if I hold on to one thing, it's that espresso, not espresso. Espresso is the same thing that's gonna be in all of these. It's just in the most concentrated form. Absolutely. Right? That's why we associate it with getting a caffeine shot, basically. Yep. Americano, nothing wrong with it. You're not being a baby. You're taking your time. You're getting more light notes because there's more water added to mm -hmm. it. A latte, it's going to be smooth and buttery. You're not having a sugar tooth. You're just enjoying a different mouthfeel mainly. Absolutely. And then finally, Voltron. Mocha. Oh yeah, that one. Mocha. M uh, mocha has chocolate. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't remember. Can you put a Voltron on the menu, like secret menu? <laughs> just we'll, so, Ryan, we'll see what we can do. The Voltron. <laughs> the Voltron. <laughs> Anybody walk up and say, I want a suicide. Just hit them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, they walk up and they go, Oh, I no. want a Voltron. They're like, oh, we got another modern rogue here. We can only do it when you come and you can pull an explosive shot of espresso. Perfect. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Again, <laughs> I'm never going to live that down. Never. All right. So I assume there's so much more that we have to learn everything about the type of beans, the way they're grown, the way they're grounded, the way they're roasted, uh, all the different uh, stuff you put it in and, yep. and pair. And we're going to get to all that. But before yes. we do, where can everybody learn more about EDG coffees? Do you, do you guys ship? We do ship. Now I can ship my espresso machine. <laughs> but all of our whole bean coffee, we can do ground coffee. We can ship that anywhere in the U.S. Awesome. We're happy to do that. You can go to edgcoffee.com. You can sign up for a subscription if you become addicted to it, which is highly likely. We should really put a warning label on There's all of our bags. Like a, 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 highly addicted. Imagine like R.J. Reynolds back in the day saying like you can have a subscription to cigarettes in case you become <laughs> addicted to them, which we highly recommend. I'm still drinking chocolate. Yeah. I'm still drinking it. Yeah. I've almost finished it. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. There's some magic in there. It's good. Absolutely. So, you know, I had a stage show. I did my full magic show. Yeah. Just that, the other uh, day. Yeah, yeah, in mm -hmm. Florida. Uh, this was my favorite move the entire time. Yeah. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Cool. Putting and, the, and the buds in. It's, it's done. Your Raycon everyday earbuds, sporting those. Sorry, I'm, I'm in the middle of Oh. You were on a plane flight. That really is the best use, in my opinion. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, are, are you talking to me? You're okay, good. Okay, yeah, cool, because yeah, yeah. I was just rocking out to... Yeah, your everyday... I'm, I'm enjoying the deep bass. I'm actually in the middle of listening to an audiobook. It's a lot of fun. All day because of the extended battery life. 32 hours. You understand how it yeah. is. Yeah, for someone who wants to be ignored because they've got their headphones in, you're awfully talkative. Uh, to me. The only bummer there is, is that people don't talk to you because they see you've got earbuds in. Now, for most people, that's a negative. For me, not so much because when I'm on a plane, I want to be me, my audiobook, maybe a little Hearthstone. Raycons come with a bunch of gel tips for your comfort, and unlike some other brands, they don't stick out of your ears. They start at half the price of other premium audio brands, but they sound just as good. People talk to me, and I get to go. Oh, yeah. The whole. <laughs> where you just make little mouth shapes and oh I'm so sorry I can't take them out I can't turn them off I can't tap this button with these controls that are so convenient and easy I can't do it I can't hear you sorry. I assume you're selling the earbuds I'm selling the earbuds yeah yeah, yeah they're pretty great go to buyraycon.com slash rogue r-o-g-u-e and get 15% off peace and quiet or music and loud noise whichever you like I literally didn't hear what the URL was. Buyraycon.com slash rogue, 15% off. Yeah, keep us in business. And Raycons come with a 45 day happiness guarantee. Look at this beatific grin on my face. Some people would call it dating, but I like the word beatific. Offer and link in the description below. Ryan! <laughs> Legitimate barista. <laughs> it's beautiful. I didn't Are you expect okay? that. I didn't expect that. <laughs> this is why we have experts. <laughs> is everything okay? Is everything uh, I don't okay? know. Did I break your machine? No, no, no. The machine is fine. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, I'm more worried if you uh, burned yourself. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs>